On this episode of Hot Rod Horrors, we dig out my vintage monster truck go-kart and we get it running again with the Predator 212 engine. So I got this go-kart for Christmas when I was five years old. And for a kid who grew up in the 80s and 90s, this was just like a dream come true. And uh, actually, Santa Claus brought it to me and left it right on the front porch. So that was pretty awesome. Can you scoot up there? Scoot up way up there where the gas is. When you give the gas, get a hold of the stern wheel and scoot way up there. When I was a kid, I rode it a few times, but it really wasn't all that fun. It was kind of slow. Didn't have a very good turning radius. Uh, we didn't have a great place to ride it. You know, it also wasn't very capable off-road. It's just a go-kart. It doesn't actually have suspension. So uh, this thing was kind of useless in a way. So I didn't really get a lot of fun out of it as a kid. We did get it out in the snow one year and that was a lot of fun. And one particular memory I have of it is my dad getting on the very back of it and us doing this big monster wheelie uh, in the churchyard just down the street from us. So my dad ended up getting rid of this go-kart uh, just a few years after I'd gotten it. It was not serving us any purpose so we let it go, and uh, it just happened to go to one of his best friends, Denny George, who had two boys, and uh, I think they found that it was also not really all that fun uh, because it really just sat in storage for a lot of years. So for my 30th birthday, uh, my wife and family had surprised me with a birthday party, and uh, when I rounded the corner to come into my garage, which is where the party was going on, uh, there was Swamp Rat sitting there and uh, you know it was a huge surprise to me because honestly I didn't know that the thing even existed anymore so that was a lot of fun and you know the idea was for me to get it running again someday and uh, I was shocked that after 25 years that the body was still in good shape the paint job and the lettering that Santa Claus did or his elves or whoever did years ago and all those old uh, car stickers and stuff they're still in good shape. This thing, I mean, it's not quite as shiny as it used to be, but it still looks like it's supposed to. To be honest, it fell pretty low on my priority list, and I just put it over here in the corner of the garage and uh, basically just used it as a shelf. So back in January, there was a big chance of snow in our area, and it kind of inspired me to put this thing back together. And I wanted us to be able to go play in the snow a little bit, you know, do some donuts, have some fun, and so finally it gave me the motivation to go to pay a hundred bucks for this Predator 212 engine and get this thing back going again. So this thing had a like a three horse Tecumseh and it was, like I said, it was slow. And uh, the only good thing it had going for it is it's got a Comet torque converter on it. And that bolted right up to this new Predator engine. That was pretty much the only thing I had to do to switch everything over was bolt on that torque converter and then bolt the new engine to the frame. Okay. <laughs> we got that on video. 
Yeah, take that part off. <laughs> Cut that part off. <laughs> Cut that part off. Alright, let's try it again. One, two, three. I was so happy to get this thing running that I drove around the yard with basically flat tires before I got the tire job. So I took a few laps around the house with no body on it, with flat tires, but it ran okay. It was uh, surprising. But this thing fired right up and we took off down the road with it. So along with the new engine, it needed some new tires. And these tires were rotten and old. and uh, They're actually a tubeless design, so uh, it didn't really do me any good to try to put any air in them. They were just coming apart. So I uh, got some new tires off of Amazon. They're just cheap Chinese junkers, but uh, they would serve the purpose for what I needed. The tire swap actually ended up being the hardest part of this whole thing. The payoff from all this aggravating work on those tires especially was being able to get this thing out and take it for a real ride down the road. And that's something that just made it worth all the effort. It was just a ton of fun to take this thing down the road and really open it up. Because my little test drive with the flat tires, obviously I didn't go very fast. But now, you know, you can hit this thing and it, it runs really good. Uh, it's obviously a very bumpy ride if you're on a, a bumpy road or in the yard or something like that, but it's still a lot of fun. My 
favorite part of this project is the fact that Carly wanted to help me. Uh, you know, it's not often that Carly can really get under a car and help me with stuff or anything like that because it's a little bit dangerous and it's hard work and all that. But this was really the kind of project that me and her could get together and work on. She helped me clean it up. She helped me with taking the body off and putting it back on. She was right there with me when I was changing tires. And she saw it all, so that was really fun. And now she's getting to enjoy it too. So the plan for us moving forward is we're going to keep riding it around. I'll get her in there with me and we'll have some fun with it. And then eventually she'll get behind the wheel herself and take it down the road and through our yard and have a little bit of fun of her own. But for now, she's not quite big enough and it's really, it's still kind of hard to steer. Just those big tires, I guess, just make it hard to steer. So she's got to get a little bit more used to it before I'll turn her loose on it. If you like this sort of thing, hit the subscribe button, hit the notification button, and then you'll see all of our new videos with drag racing coverage, project updates, and all sorts of other fun stuff.